there, it's Sam from futils.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a tiny little favour box using the Perennial Essence Suite. It is so cute. So, so cute. Opens like that. Will fold flat for closure. Although I have um, glued that part down, but you'll see why afterwards. But it's a charming little box. So cute. Measures two by two by one inch, which is five by five by Two and a half centimetres, couldn't think, and it's got a little bow closure at the side. Well, actually, it's technically a knot. And on this one, I fussy cut the flower, um, but I'm not going to on the next one I'm going to make. I'm going to punch one. So this is the paper. So pretty. This is the stamp set and the matching punch that, yes, I agree, it looks like a propeller off a plane. But, you know, we're going to make it look like a flower. Okay, so piece of paper that is four by seven inches, which is ten by seventeen and a half centimeters. On the long side, score it at one, three, four, and six inches, which is two and a half, seven and a half, ten, and fifteen. And then you turn it around and score it at one and three inches, which is two and a half and seven and a half centimeters. Okay, so, woo, do you like my new take your pick bit? It's a dye brush, comes with this and two sponges because you, you know, when you've got your dye cuts, you go like that. But yeah, I popped it on the end. This is the end which has the, um, the putty bit for picking up sequins and stuff, but I like that on there. Oh, cool. Anyway, so it's just arrived in my office a day or two ago. Popped it straight on, haven't stopped using it because I do a lot of die cutting these days. Although, actually, curiously, I don't think I am in the next couple of videos. I'm looking to the pile on my left because it's video day for me today. Okay, so they're all done. So you can see that it's all burnished. And what you need to do now swap your end round and then grab a ruler and because this is a fold flat we're going to score lines across these little squares you see these squares and they're all going to point towards the big square in the middle super easy except not with the lighting it's a very dull day it has been horrible weather here the last couple of days we had one really sunny day Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday today's Wednesday for me you're watching this on Friday, chucking it down to the point where my patio actually looks like somebody had emptied a bathtub across it. Okay, so you can see they're all pointing inwards. So those four are pointing into the middle and those two are pointing into the middle. So what we need to do now, where you've got this square, this one's going to become the base and I need to cut there and there. And that's all the cutting you need to do. So you fold it in and back out. Fold in, back out, in. Oh, I've lost my line. In and out. Oh, I didn't do that in a very... Str I didn't do it hard enough, that's why. There we go. In wants to go along the bad score line. There we go. In then out and then this one in and out and the same at the top in out in then out. So there we go. So that's because it's paper I mean if you were doing this in cardstock you'd be in there with your bone folder burnishing it. But it's not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put adhesive in the triangle scored area that is into the middle. I am just putting snail for speed. You hold in and push down. Hold in and push down. 
and that's it so that's the point you store this so if you were making these as favors for a wedding or a shower or something like that that's how you'd store them but you will see so the bottom is all fully closed like that and like that so you pop your goodies in there but when you close it it gapes there so don't so you will need to put more adhesive in but not at the point you're storing it so we'll put some more glue across that bit press firmly job done easy peasy right so this is called organdy striped ribbon and I'm going to tie the knot on the top and then move it to where I want it afterwards. Very pretty. This is petal pink colour, which is one of the many, many colours in the perennial essence paper. And my towels are a bit long there. And then just twist it to the side. And then now, a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to do something slightly different because this paper's got these lovely purples and blues in. So I'm going to bring in my gorgeous crepe and I have no idea if this is going to work. I hope it does. <laughs> Grab my flower shape. Oops, oh, it's, photopolymer is so sticky. Two of those, and I'm going to get my Winky Stella, which is a new one, so it's a bit, it's very liquid at the moment. And I'm just going to move some of this purple around so I get a kind of lilac-y shade. It's almost in the territory of Highland Heather purple posy, but I want to soften that purple. Hopefully you can see the difference between the two. So I'm going to do both of them. And Wink of Stella is lovely for this because you get a lovely little shimmer across. You can see I'm going into the middle bit to pick up some of the ink. And what I'll do in a second is I'll tip this in the light for you. And hopefully you can see that shimmer. If you can't, I'm sorry! Okay. So grab the punch both of those out and then oh where are my tweezers? Oh no, I needed my tweezers. Oh it's okay, I can see them there in my other pencil pot. So you need something that you can get hold of the middle part of one of the petals and you grip it and twist it and it sort of ruffles. You see that? So this was taught to me by Sophie Prestrel who's um, one of the leaders in my team and she's over in France and I went and joined her in Paris last year in the spring and she taught us how to do this and it was just lovely. So pretty. So they're going to sit over the top like that Scrumpled flowers, such a wonderfully descriptive word. Scrumple. I could almost, do you know what? I think I'm going to take a third and do that with another one actually. I want three layers of them. Okay, tweezers again. You could probably do this with your fingers and it might work as well. Um, but I'm going to do the, I'm going to do it the way I was taught. 
with a pair of tweezers. That's better, isn't it? Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash together in the middle so I'm pushing down really firmly and it's firstly it's getting the glue to stick together um, but it's also lifting it up completely how pretty is that right I now need one of the flower centers which are these ones and they're all fuzzy and they've got adhesive on the back that never wants to come off for me into the middle, scrumple it all back up round and then into the middle of the ribbon and then you can still move it all about it will still move backwards and forwards. How cute! Oh I prefer that one to my original. Fussy cutting is not my strength. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye!